What is up guys, Jarv here, back today jumping into Destiny. Now with the launch of Into the Light, we see the return of Whisper of the Worm. You can pick up the exotic mission from Eris over on the moon. This will unlock access to the mission via the new Into the Light node that you can find in the director. And this will grant you access both to the normal and legend version of the activity. Now the normal version is 1810, with the legend being 1830. And the legend difficulty will also grant the whisper catalyst if this is something you haven't earned previously when the mission was originally available now for your destiny veterans out there the main mission itself is exactly as it was but if you are new to destiny the mission starts off with a very linear jump puzzle section i'm going to let this full section play out so if you are new to this activity then be sure to follow this footage and this will guide you towards the combat sections and also the final bosses I've added timestamps in the video description as well, so if you want to skip ahead, feel free to do so, and I'll catch you at the next part of the video. You are alone. Guardian down. Guardian down. Now this brings us on to the combat section. The opening areas are full of Taken Blights, Thrall, Hobgoblins, Taken Knights, and even the odd Taken Centurion and Captain. Now to progress through these sections, you need to destroy all the Blights and take out all the combatants. There aren't any other major mechanics involved. You just need to kill all your combatants dead 
and progress through each of the three main areas. Now, once you reach the final area, this is where you'll face three bosses. Now, in the original mission, they all just spawned at the same time. But once you rally a flag, there are three separate Vex constructs and each one once destroyed will spawn an individual boss. So you can leave it up to you on whether you spawn all three by destroying all three constructs or take out one boss at a time, which will definitely be the strat if you're looking to do this solo and flawlessly. And once you take out all three bosses, this will spawn a brand new final boss. And this comes in the form of Tolgorth Aspect of Agony. They're a brand new Taken Ogre. Now there is a small mechanic in order to remove their shield. There are Taken Wizards in the far corners of this arena. And by taking them out, this will make the boss vulnerable to damage. This is your opportunity to deal as much damage as possible. And be sure to make the most of Whisper of the Worm if you already have it. Because as of the making of this video, there's a nice 25% sniper rifle surge. Now once you complete the mission, you'll be asked to return to Eris Morn on the moon. And she'll grant you access to the craftable Whisper of the Worm. But also access to the crafted traits. These come in the form of individual exotic catalyst quests and these are called Whispers of the Taken. Now the first step for week one requires us to take out Taken combatants and collect their Taken essences. You do not need to use Whisper of the Worm to do this and in order to get this done quickly I loaded into a lost sector over on a Dreaming City over in Aphelion's Rest and by taking out just 10 combatants with any weapon or abilities you can easily get this quest step done. Now, upon completion, you'll then be required to defeat Taken Blights in the exotic mission Whisper on Legend difficulty, and these can be found in the opening section of the exotic mission. This is in the Lost Sector area where the mission starts, and what you'll find in the main area with all the trees are hidden Taken Blights. These are visible to all players, but can only be destroyed with the Whisper of the Worm sniper rifle. Each member of your fire team will need to destroy three of these in order to progress to the next part of the quest. Now, it's important to make sure you've taken out enough blights as the next step requires you to complete the Whisper mission on Legend difficulty. Now, there are a few subtle differences between the normal version and the Legend version, with the main one being the timer. On normal, you have 40 minutes to complete this mission, and on Legend, this is cut in half to just 20 minutes. And on top of that, combatants are of a higher power level, meaning they hit a lot harder and are much more difficult to defeat. Now, this quest can be done as part of a fire team, and I highly recommend that you do that. But upon completing the mission, you'll be summoned once again to Eris Morn over on the moon, and she'll grant you access to the very first unlockable perk. The unlockable trait for week one is field prep, this will increase your ammo reserves, provide a faster reload, stow and ready speed when you're crouched. Now this isn't the only perk you can unlock for the Whisper of the Worm this week. You can in fact upgrade the White Nail perk, which will unlock additional barrels and magazines. And these are done by destroying oracles that are found throughout the mission. Now these can be found on Legend difficulty and these are time gated. And as of the making of this video, only two are available in week one. Now, if you don't have these, then I'm going to let the footage of these play out. These will help you unlock those additional talents, but also grant you progress towards earning the new exotic ship. To obtain that, though, you need to destroy seven oracles in total. But don't worry, we'll have a full guide covering all the oracle locations once they're available. So be sure to stay stuck to the channel and we'll keep you up to date.
So there we have it guys, a good look on the Whisper of the Worm in 2024. It's unlockable perks and talents and also the Oracle locations for week one. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to check out one of the two videos you see here in these cards for more Destiny 2 content. And if you want to keep up to date with everything to do with Destiny 2, then be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm going to be to the game as always guys and I will catch you all again very soon.